St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner and in the past we have made some St. Patrick's Day themed treats. Today we are going to make shepherd's pie for dogs. We're gone to the snow dogs. We are going to make shepherd's pie for dogs. If you guys are interested in some of our other St. Patrick's Day treats that we've done, we've done some green shamrock treats and some other things, There'll be some links up in the card section and down in the video section below where you can go check those out along with all of our other dog treats. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 450 and then have a dish to put your shepherd's pie in. We're using one big dish and then I'm gonna scoop out of it. You can use a bunch of little dishes. Just make sure it's something you can put in the oven. So the first thing we're gonna need is our meat. I boiled some hamburger for this. You can actually, traditionally shepherd's pie is made with lamb. You can use lamb if you want to. You can also use ground turkey, um, but we're using boiled hamburger. I boil it so that it's not so greasy. If you're gonna use hamburger, just make sure you use a very lean hamburger. Oh my gosh, I know. What, you wanna try it? Would you like to try it? Would you like to try it? She was like, I would totally like to try it. <laughs> we have to we have to mix it into your stuff. How much are we using? We have three dogs. We're actually using a half a pound. So along with that, you're gonna need two eggs. You don't wanna lick this bowl. I mean you probably do wanna lick this bowl, but you're not gonna. About a half a cup of beef stock. I know, it's so exciting. And about three quarters of a cup of wheat flour. Now we're gonna stir all this together. All right, once we've got that all stirred together, we're gonna add a couple veggies. What do you girls think? Would you like some frozen peas in here? You like a frozen pea? You like a frozen pea? How about you, Shelby? Shelby pops out of nowhere. You want a frozen pea? Shall we spit out the frozen pea? Shall we get another one? Shall we get another one? One more time, Shelby. And shall we spit out the second frozen pea? <laughs> uh, and again, how much is really up to you? I have about a cup here, but I'm probably only gonna use about half a cup. You can't eat the bowl. You wanna eat the bowl? It's like, I do. So we're gonna scoop some of these in here. And stir them up a little bit to see how many I have. This recipe is definitely not an exact science. What else are we gonna add? Carrots? Now I know Shelby won't eat these. Would you like a carrot? Would you like a carrot? How about you, Shelby? Want a carrot? And she spit the carrot out. Let's see if we can do it this way. Want a carrot with dip on it? That carrot she ate. She only eats carrots with dip. <laughs> Uh, so I, I actually had baby carrots, so I just cut those up, and again, probably about a half a cup, handful of carrots, we're gonna add it in there. Memphis is like, wait, I can catch one. I can I can catch it as it falls. I, I catch the carrot. Oh, almost. Almost, almost. <laughs> Here, for being so good, you can have one. You can have another one. And you can have another one, even though you won't eat it. We're gonna stir this up and see what this looks like. So that's about what the inside of your pie is gonna look like. So once we have that all stirred up, we're gonna layer it in our pan. All right, so I sprayed our pan with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray so that this stuff doesn't stick to the bottom. And now, we're gonna put this in here. I have to put that there so they can see me doing it. Can you not eat it while I'm doing that? Thanks. So that's what it's gonna look like when you get it all down in your pan, and now, Normal shepherd's pie is normally topped with regular mashed potatoes, but since we're doing this for the dogs and potatoes, regular potatoes can be very, very starchy, we're actually gonna use sweet potatoes. I boiled two sweet potatoes. They were huge, and hopefully that's gonna be enough to cover this. Wanna help, Memphis? She's like, I am the best helper ever. She should just let me help. That's about what it's gonna look like when it's ready. Now we're gonna put this in the oven for probably about 15 to 25 minutes, depending on how thick yours turned out. Um, just adjust the time accordingly. You basically just wanna bring everything inside to temperature. And so 15, 25 minutes should be good. I'm put it in the oven, what do you think? Oh wait, while I was cutting up my sweet potatoes, I saved them a couple raw ones. Shelby's like, nope. Hopefully he's like, I'll eat one. Memphis will eat one. Want some cooked ones, Shelby? So she doesn't want them raw, but she'll eat them cooked. Some more? She's like, oh, I really like that. 
Oh, you get it over the table. She got it. She's like, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Oakley's gotta get a bite of Cook, too. Look out, it's Oakley's bite. Good stuff? She's like, that, that's amazing. All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven. So there is the shepherd's pie. It looks pretty good. Oh, do you wanna try it? Yeah? I think I might have to put yours on top of your slow feed bowl though, because I don't want you to woof it down. What do you think? You girls wanna try it? It looks pretty good. Memphis is like, and it's gone. I should have put yours in a slow feed bowl. You can't steal Shelby's. And then Oakley's got hers. So I think it's a win. <laughs> uh, Memphis took like three bites before I could even get the camera ready. <laughs> hey, you can't take Oakley's. You had some, and you had some. <laughs> now Oakley's finishing hers. <laughs> uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this fun St. Patrick's Day treat. Irish shepherd's pie for your dog. Let us know if you end up making it. And as I said before, there's a link up in the cards and down in the video description below to, what is it, 45 other treat videos that we've done now. So you can go check those out if you're looking for more things to make for your dogs. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Say goodbye. <laughs>Side note, we did not end up walking in the Detroit St. Patrick's Day Parade because it was raining pretty hard and Oakley's not a big fan of walking in the rain, so because of how hard it was raining, we decided not to go. So if we missed you guys there, we're sorry, but thanks to everybody that showed up at the Husky Specialty Show in Dexter, Michigan. It was great to meet some of you guys.